In this video, we're going to be talking about indexing vectors. Specifically, we're going to talk about what an index actually is. So, what's an index? All an index is, is just a position or location of a value inside of a vector. And we can use an analogy just like, let's say I had a line of people. Let's say I had one person here, another person here, another person here, and another person here. And let's say this is the start of the line, and let's say that this is the back of the line or the end of the line. So we would say that this person on the far left is the first person in line. They're in the first position. This person is the second person in line. This is the third person, and this is the fourth person. This same exact concept applies to indices in MATLAB. So if I had a vector of numbers, so if I had a vector of numbers, let's say three or two, three, one, five, right? This is a vector of four numbers where the indices, so the two is in the first index, the three is in the second index, the one is in the third index, and the five is in the fourth index. So it's important that you understand the difference between an index and the actual value. The value of three is at index two. The value in the index most likely aren't going to agree. They don't have to agree either. But all an index is is just the position of something inside of a vector.